What's up everybody and welcome to the 2024 quarter two update for the Well Built Cities ecosystem. If you look at our work um, and you look at like our strategies, one of the things you'd find is that prioritized partnership is explicitly named in like a high priority for the way that we approach it. Really in everything we do, we're trying to engage in uh, partnership. I'm actually here at a partnership gathering we're, uh, with uh, Homegrown Hillsboro. You, some of you heard from uh, Monica uh, in our last update, um, but this is a gathering of like kind of collaborative, um, collective impact folks from around the food systems. Uh, but throughout this last quarter, uh, we've had some incredible partnerships. You know, last time we updated some of you guys on um, the food pharmacy that we opened at Well Built Bikes. That was done in partnership with Feeding Tampa Bay, uh, an incredible partnership that gives us the opportunity to meet with patients of um, local clinics um, and that maybe have a, a dietary issue, uh, kind of illness or disease like diabetes or heart disease or something where diet can really help with that. And so they get a prescription to eat healthy and they can come in and fill that with us. We've been super excited about that partnership. We've also been partnering with Blind Tiger Cafe, really um, the, the businesses as, as a whole, but specifically the one that they have in Ybor City. Uh, where we've been running monthly fireside chats with community leaders, um, which have just been incredible. We've been doing those on the third Thursday of every month uh, from six to eight. We'd love you guys to come, but by the way, quick announcement, August, we're not gonna be having it. They've got some staffing challenges with back to school. We'll be skipping August. Hopefully we'll see you there on the third Thursday in September. Uh, but then also on the second and fourth Wednesday morning, we're doing what we call like collab and coffee. It's just a time to like caffeinate, get together with some other people doing stuff and just share ideas, goals, mu mutual kind of support. Um, and it's just a good time. We do that from eight to 10 uh, on the second and fourth Wednesday morning. And you guys are all welcome to join us uh, at those. We've done some cool partnerships that overlap with kids over the last uh, quarter. So one of those was with a local church. They actually run this really cool idea where it's like a summer program because kids in high school really trying to get scholarships or whatever need community service hours. And so what they did it was uh, they said, hey, you can just, we'll do a service week and we'll partner with a bunch of places. And so Well Built Bikes was able to take in, uh, you know, 20 of those kids one day and we worked with them all day, which is a really cool opportunity for them to meet us and hear our story for us to work with them, but also help polish up a bunch of potential Erna bikes and get a bunch of work done uh, in one day. And then we also, also in the bike space, we partnered with, uh, some Hillsborough County departments and the Sheriff's Department to run an outreach in uh, the university area where we were able to distribute 40 bikes to kids that didn't have bikes in the community through some pre-registration program. But Webble Bikes was able to come out, work with them on bike fitting and equip them with locks and bikes and you know have a little obstacle course to do some training on. Uh, just really cool stuff. And so hopefully you'll hear the theme of partnership, uh, maybe through some of the other updates, but let's go ahead and just take a little quick tour through the ecosystem so you can hear kind of some of the other voices uh, about the other work and uh, tables that we're setting and work that's being done. We're already six months through the year and we've been busy at well fed Community. And so we wrapped up the spring semester with the Dream Center at the Ybor Street Community Garden, but we have been holding weekly garden work days every Friday from 8 to 10 a.m. hoping to beat the heat. So please join us out there. Come fall, come September, we'll be switching back to our later hours, but you know, just stay tuned, subscribe to the newsletter and, and kind of tune into Tampa Talk to know where we're at. But otherwise, summer so far has been a blast. We were able to work with the Boys and Girls Club through Mort Elementary in order to host a six week summer program working with middle schoolers and then getting to utilize the Moore Elementary existing garden. So big shout out to Mrs. Shannon Sturgeon for opening up her space to our team. Otherwise, this fall we'll hit the ground running again with the Dream Center kids um, and run that cohort through the rest of the year. Also coming up in the fall, we will continue our Community Food Ambassador program. And so we've had a really successful couple months. Um, we've been able to onboard over 10 community members in the university area into the program. And they've been attending monthly workshops and quarterly community dinners. And so they've been a blast. We just wrapped, wrapped up our last one on seed saving. So join us in fall if you're not already enrolled and you live in the university area and you're interested in getting involved. Or just come out to a quarterly dinner and you know share a meal with some neighbors. Otherwise, you can look forward to a couple other events coming online this fall to really become engaged members of Welfed Community and help us to make food make sense in the neighborhoods we're serving. That's what I got from Welfed Community. Hi everybody, welcome to our quarterly update. We have had a very busy three months as always here in the shop. 
We've had customers taking advantage of our tax-free month here in July for any bike under $500, which is most of our inventory, so that works out well for us. We've welcomed a new mechanic, which is also a big help to that get those shelves replenished. Um, Nick. Who is a new mechanic and while Nick doesn't have official professional bicycle mechanic experience, he's an avid cyclist, has always worked on his own bikes, um, super fast learner. Derek is a great teacher, he's been working together with him. In fact, the very first week that Nick was here, I had a customer for the first time in five years actually ask to meet the mechanic, the fantastic mechanic that worked on her bike, which was a super proud moment for all of us. We were proud of Nick, we were proud of the shop. So that was great. Um, another thing is we've had to move our warehouse. We lost our warehouse space here. Uh, we had a very large space here at the mall, inside the mall. Uh, we are now working out of two storage containers uh, in the mall parking lot, which isn't the best and our most favorite thing to do, but it's what we've got. And so we're learning to um, keep more in stock in the back room so that we have those bikes readily available. Going out in the heat is not super fun, but we're making it work and it is and it is what it is. Um, and aside from that, things have been ticking along here normally. Um, I'm gonna hand this over to Derek, who's going to um, have a few things to say about the service department. Hey, I'm Derek, uh, one of the mechanics here at Well Built Bikes. Just want to take a moment here to uh, give an update on what we've got going on here in the service department. Traditionally, summer has been a slow time here in the shop, but thankfully this summer, we've actually had a very large increase in service intake here. With Nick's help, we've actually been able to crush through whatever service we have here. So super awesome to get that done and taken care of in a very effective manner. We're also trying to uh, fill in those, uh, those holes within our stock. July being the month that we're not doing sales tax on bikes that are under $500, we're actually getting through uh, builds in a pretty effective manner here. So of course, as always, we try to rely on the donations that we get in here in the shop. So of course, dusty, not rusty is key, but any and all donations are gladly accepted, thankfully. So with that said, Emma, what have you got for us? Thanks, Derek. So actually this quarter, we've been able to give over $7,000 in um, Erna bikes, lock slides, helmets, all of that good stuff. Uh, we've also given over $2,000 um, to our sliding scale customers. Um, so we've been able to fix a lot of bikes that way. Um, behind me, we have our Food RX, uh, where we've been able to give a lot of food to people who wouldn't normally have access to um, food or healthy food at that. Um, if you would like to contribute at all, we are in desperate need of rags, um, so if you have any old t-shirts lying around, please bring those in. And we'll see you next quarter, thanks! <laughs> Welcome to your 2024 quarter two update for the Kinship Free Markets. This past quarter, we distributed just shy of 70,000 pounds of food and we served 3,500 families. We are just about to finish up our fourth year of working with UACDC and doing local markets with them. And in addition to that, we're just about to enter, actually we have already entered our third year of the Florida Blue Grant through UACDC. I wanted to mention, um, we have just been having so many really consistent, wonderful volunteers showing up this summer. Last summer, I did not have that. I rely on so many USF students and so many of them are not local. They go home for the summer and I just was really, really struggling to find volunteers last summer. This year is very different. I've had several people who live locally, uh, USF students who live locally and they stuck around even through the heat and humidity. They're still showing up to my summer markets to help me with that. I'm also working with one or two middle school students, actually people who are in the National Junior Honor Society and they're trying to get their volunteer hours in this summer. And so that's been really wonderful to see such young children showing up and doing the work at the markets with me. Also, I just have a couple of people, actually more than a couple, I probably have at this point five or six people who are just local adults that are interested in finding community work that they think is meaningful. And they also have been showing up really consistently with me, um, even in these very hot, humid summer months and helping me at my markets. Lastly, I wanted to mention that um, the registration system that I had mentioned in the previous quarter update, the registration system for the Monday night markets has been implemented. We implemented it, I believe, three weeks ago. That market had just gotten 
too big for us to handle. There were too many people showing up and we just didn't have enough food and time to serve everyone. We have pared that down to a much smaller group of people. There's about 80 folks that we're serving uh, 40 people each week. And we have required them to register with us um, according to their zip code. So people that reside within a certain set of zip codes just around the church were eligible for registration and they are sent automated text message reminders to let them know when their upcoming Monday to shop is. And this has just been going very, very smoothly. I think this has been the solution to the, uh, the Monday, mar Monday market issue all along. Uh, the volunteers seem really happy with it. The shoppers seem really happy with it. And I'm really happy with it too. So that's your quarter two update for uh, 2024. Man, I hope you enjoy these as much as I do. I love getting to hear from everybody. Um, and you know, we appreciate the feedback. It sounds like this has been a helpful uh, accessible way to look into our work a little bit for some of you and so hopefully you continue to share these watch these thank you for your partnership with us for locking arms with us to work toward our vision of a well-built city we you know kind of need all of us as citizens here to engage um, we would like to invite you to um, continue or to begin to support our work you can just go to wellbuilt.city there's a donation place we would really appreciate any amount that you could do if you're able to do like as a monthly um, kind of financial partner with us. We would really appreciate you joining and locking arms with us um, in that way as well. Um, I have one other kind of thing I've been like kind of keeping under wraps, but I wanna go ahead and let you know a project that I'm really excited about and you'll be hearing more kind of as things unfold. But um, in Pinellas, there is a, what's called the St. Pete Distillery. Um, there's a, a, they have like a little tasting room and a distillery. This is kind of in South St. Pete, but the, the owners have a big chunk of land there right off of the interstate that they're gonna do this big development project on over the next several years. Um, and the main developer there has been reaching out specifically to well-built bikes because they're right along the Pinellas Trail and said, hey, we would like to put a little satellite shop here, which they're offering to do like a shipping container build out type small store service place as an amenity alongside the trail to help them activate the trail as they do this development. Um, we initially were like, hey, bandwidth wise, like, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that, but thanks to the Community Foundation of Tampa Bay, we received a uh, grant so that we can run this as a pilot project. And so over the next year or this season, we're gonna um, start putting a little flag, planting a flag and developing something over there alongside Wubble Bikes. And so anyway, super excited about that. We're super grateful to kind of both of these partners kind of coming together and make it happen. If any of you are in Pinellas or interested in help make that happen, you know, there are, you know, we're gonna need workforce. We're gonna need investment. We're gonna, you know, if, if any of you are interested in that, feel free to reach out to me um, to support or engage with us in that way or help make connections over there. There's a lot of folks that we need to meet uh, in that neighborhood, but thank you. Thank you, thank you so much uh, for listening. Uh, please do share and uh, yeah, till next time, y'all be good.